welcome to another episode of Ask Kilma. This week's Ask Kilma question comes from Kalem, and she wants to know what advice I give DJs as far as, well, having healthy relationships when you're traveling all the time and maybe you're not seeing your partner all that much. How do you stop the jealousy from happening when they're not really there in all these situations that are going on if that's something that happens? So, number one, establish boundaries. Now, different relationships will have different boundaries. Maybe you think it's cheating if your partner hugs another human being or a cat. I don't know what you crazy kids are doing nowadays. Maybe it is not cheating in your relationship if your significant other cuddles with another person. Again, set boundaries, be on the same page. Communicate, let them know what's going on in your daily life. If you are not typically able to see your partner all that often, then you need to be at least communicating in some way. FaceTime and Skype is wonderful because you actually get the tone of voice, the, the facial reaction, as opposed to text and emails where you can't really get all of the context behind what is being said. Now, there's going to be situations where you don't have internet access, so you're unable to, you know, maybe connect the camera and, and have those face-to-face -face conversations, but definitely try to connect and talk about your days. Let that one another be a part of what's going on in your life. If you're having a hard time on the road or they're having a difficult time at work or with family members, talking about those situations is really going to help you know, make it feel like this person's here for me, even though they can't be here for me. You get it? Yeah. Number three, be open. Seriously, nothing is worse. Okay, well, maybe there are some things that are worse, but it really sucks to one day come across a message where another person has hit on your significant other and you never heard about it. And you don't know the way they reacted or responded to the situation. If you're just open with your significant other and you're like, hey, this weird thing happened, this person hit on me, this is my response to them, isn't that messed up? Then at least, you know, they don't feel like you're hiding things from them and vice versa. So it's really important to be open about those situations. Um, now, what some people might say is, well, I have a very jealous boyfriend slash girlfriend slash cat and if they knew that this happened they would get super insecure that my friend really sucks and that is not about you that is about their own insecurities and if you can't tell them that these things are going on that might be a red flag about what what's going on in that relationship I would definitely want to investigate that and it it would be difficult if you're not there with that person but i would definitely recommend uh counseling or even like your own self-help in situations like that i personally have had uh people that i was dating that okay well just one person they were incredibly jealous and awful and me walking out the door in anything but a plain white t-shirt made them think like you want guys to look at you, don't you? And uh, that was kind of a red flag to me that this relationship's not going to work because one, I dress for me. Two, if you don't trust me, why the frig are you with me? So clearly that didn't work out so well for that guy, but I'm married now, so. So thanks for watching this episode of Ask Yola. Send me your questions. I want to hear what you've done in relationships and maybe you had a jealous partner. Were they jealous because maybe you were untrustworthy when you were on the road? And let me know in the comments below. Make sure you check out my latest article on Don't Kill My Vibe that talks about four ways that DJs can motivate themselves. I think we all need a little bit of motivation here and there. So let me know what you think.